Okay, here's a 23-inch Motorola combination television uh, because it includes a stereo that I featured in the earlier video. What I want to go ahead and do is um, get this out and uh, take a look at the CRT uh, voltage drop across it. Okay, I've gone ahead and uh, I have the SAMs for it and I've gone ahead and ordered a, uh, a replacement horizontal output tube for it, which is a 27 GB5 which is a PL500 some sort of a European uh, style output tube and there's the brightener that was attached to it when we picked it up yet it tests good on the tester okay there's our CRT is the 23 DAP4 and it's called X a V13 on the diagram so let's go over here to the string and V13 is right here, pin 8 and pin 1. It does not give the voltage drop across it, but pin 8 and pin 1. And I do believe we do have the UHF tuner. So I notice there's a, a resistor here in series, a 15 watt, 147 ohms, it looks like. But, uh, and this 105 ohm resistor here. So, let's see what we have across that CRT. Okay, here's a look inside the chassis from the back side. I've just gone ahead and put in a couple of bus wires here just to tap off pins 1 and 8 of the filament. And we have the meter ready and we'll, we'll see what we have. We turn it on. Tube is lighting. Two point six volts on a six volt filament. No wonder why it looks so dim. This TV is nice because it has the stereo amplifier, which is a transformered set. Okay. At 2.2 volts AC, that isn't going to produce very much raster. As it appears to have nothing at all. I don't see a thing there. This is a funny set. Because we had raster. We didn't initially, and then we did. Oh, you can see raster there. It's, it's funny, the camera picks it up, but I can't see a thing. No. There's no, but the set does produce a raster, I've seen it. So I don't know if the socket is loose or what is going on, but yeah. So there's definitely something going on here. I did see this produce a picture. Two point two volts on that filament. See if I can get a raster to come up. Again, I'm not able to get a raster on the set. Maybe at two volts it isn't visible. But I played with this before. Those resistors I'm talking about, uh, there's one right there, and the other two are over there behind the damper. Those ceramic resistors. Those are the ones in line with the filament. 
And boy, if you could smell the smell coming off of these tubes. I don't have an isolation transformer on this set right at the moment, so uh, I'll do a little more digging around. I've gone ahead and taken my pins out of there, and let's see if any type of raster on this set. There is no raster. You can hear the vertical. I swear there is a raster there. There is. The camera's picking it up, but I can barely, barely see it. It's just too bright in here, but... There you can see the top of the vertical right there. So... More to come later. That's enough of this for right now. Try and find out why we only have a uh, check some voltages and get back to it. Okay, just to save a little bit of time, I, I just got a lantern battery. It has 6.3 volts on it. That's no load. I do have a little regulated power supply, which I may use, but that's that's about an amp max on that one. And let's just see what it draws with the uh, lantern battery attached. So go ahead and attach our lantern battery. It drew an amp going down to 0.9. I got 5.4 there, so that's 900 milliamps. Hmm. That's a lot of current. 0.8 milliamps at only 5.4 volts. Okay, now we'll try another experiment. I have this, uh, power supply here set to get an amp over here 0.9 the tube is lit 5.7 let's bring this up to 6.3 volts okay a little ammeter on here It does work, but it's not showing. Oh. Yeah, the switch is always a little testy on this, but it always works. But we don't need it anyway. Oh. Trying to get the meter here to indicate the amperage also, which is helpful. Hmm. We'll have to give him a shot. Well, in any event, at 6.3, my CRT is drawing almost an amp. And this, this, this meter doesn't like uh, doing more than an amp. Oh. oh, come now. I'll just hold it there. Yeah, according to this, is just under an amp there on the meter. So, 6.3 volts, 0.96 amps. So here's the sheet on our 23 DAP4, and you can see the heater current at 6.3, 600 milliamps plus or minus 30 milliamps. So we're way out of spec here. That's drawing 30. 33 or so percent more than it's supposed to.